Hi, I'm Dr. Sunil Richardson. I'm a craniofacial surgeon. I practice out of South India and also out of the Middle East. In the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you a little bit about distraction osteogenesis. So the word distraction means in English to distract or pull apart and osteogenesis means to create new bone. Now what does this thing exactly mean? What it means is that with the help of this treatment, we are able to get new bone grown on the patient's body, by the patient's body and for the patient's body. So we're not using any other material from any other part of the body or from outside. This is a very, very amazing development that happened in the 70s, first done by the Russian scientist Elizaro. Now, we've been doing this for more than two decades here at Richardson's. We take care of the entire craniofacial skeleton, that's the head and neck. And this treatment is used for patients who have various growth issues for various reasons, either in the lower jaw, upper jaw, or even in the upper third of the face, that is the orbits and the maxilla and the nasal bones. Right, what exactly is done is very simple. What we do is we devise a distractor, or we get a custom-made distractor, or we get a distractor that's readily available and adapt or suit it to fix or to make it adaptable on the patient's body, especially say the lower jaw or the upper jaw where the need is. After that, a surgery is done and then the screw is turned slowly, distracting the two pieces of the bones apart. And by doing this, we get new bone. Now, is this a surgery that anyone does? Unfortunately, no. This needs craniofacial training. This also needs to have a teamwork. For example, we need to have a good orthodontist. We need to have a technician. We need to have good anesthesiologist because these also need different types of intubations at times. Now, we here at Richardson's have one of the largest series of published cases with distraction osteogenesis or the upper jaw. We've also been the pioneers on the technique called as anterior maxillary distraction. We also distract patients that have temporomandibular joint ankylosis. Distraction can be used for patients who have, for example, cruzons or apers. In those cases, we do the lift for three distraction. Lift for three distraction is when the entire face is distracted forwards. We can also do distraction for patients who have growth issues after they were born with clefts or without clefts. It could be growth issues affecting one side of the face, just the chin or the upper jaw. So there are different varieties, different types and different options now available to the trained surgeon and therefore the best modality needs to be chosen for the patient. Whenever there is an issue with growth, do you remember that when the growth is less, distraction osteogenesis could be one of the modus operandi, one of the ways in which you can treat it. When the growth is excess, then obviously you don't need distraction. You need to reduce that and then we would do the conventional orthognathic or jaw surgeries. So this is a very, very essential part, integral part of facial surgeries today. We use this for patients that have various issues. We can also use it for cosmetic reasons because there is no scar whatsoever. Everything is done from inside the mouth. And so even though the time taken for treatment the time taken at the hospital might be longer than a conventional procedure and a conventional surgery it's well worth it because the patient has no implant has no foreign body left inside the jaws because these distractors are eventually removed so i hope you get my message about distraction osteogenesis yes it's a new modality that's been happening a lot in the craniofacial skeleton in the last two three decades and we are able to get amazing, amazing results for patients who can undergo this type of distraction, osteogenesis as part of their treatment. Thank you.